other house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you cool with me putting this headband on you? Yeah. I'm trying not to mess up your hair too much. No, you won't. Oh, are you on right now? It's on. It's Fantastic. happening. We, it's on like Donkey Kong? Yeah, we only have 145 viewers. Good. So, hey, Connor and Anthony. I love you too, Corey. Okay, wow, I look great. Hi, Amelia. Kayla. Courtney. Hi. BB Games 2017. Is that a photo of Ramsey's? Cute. Okay. Toronto. Hi, Mom. Eugenia? Yeah, Eugenia's Hi, on. Eugenia. <laughs> Come show me. But you're so cute. Yeah. Hey, Callie. I'm about to get a hydrofacial. Um, if you watch live feeds in the Big Brother house, you know that I'm obsessed with these and missed them greatly while I was gone. My mom said hi, Jessica. Um, and this is my first hydrofacial since I've been out of the house. I'm feeling very blessed. Also feeling like my skin is really gross right now. But thanks to Jessica, it's going to be wonderful after this. Okay, what are you putting on me? This is just the Lytic Gel Cleanser. I'm going to prep your skin and we're going to scrape it. You were dermaplaning me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I get a hydrofacial, she is going to um, dermaplane me. Um, I get my all of my facials at um, Anderson Med Spa. Oh, hey, Nicole. Happy birthday. Or yesterday. Or today. Um, I to cover your face. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Callie, you're coming on Sunday? Okay, we're covering my face. It does not hurt at all. It actually feels so wonderful. It's my favorite thing. Can I put them on your lashes? Okay. Or yeah, go for it. Okay, so dermaplaning is basically taking like, what, like a surgical blade essentially? That's exactly right. And scraping my skin <laughs> off, which that sounds terrifying, but it's actually just dead like all cells. the dead skin cells on the top and any like peach fuzz and like hair on your face. So like the reason I essentially first wanted to dermaplane was for the makeup application benefits. Like you're a smooth, your skin is just so smooth, like your makeup goes on perfectly. But, oh my gosh, Chad from AG. Hey, I might come in tomorrow, so get me some pants pulled. I don't think I'm a size 25 anymore. Because I gained 12 pounds in the house. Um, but it's fine, because my boyfriend's personal trainer, so I'll just have him personally train me. Um, so... Anyways, it's, but it's also has a lot of other benefits just for your skin. So you, I'm about to get a facial right after this. And I'm going to probably benefit, how much times more would you say, Jessica, from the, the, getting the dermaplane first? Because it's like opening up your pores and your face can like accept all the good stuff you're putting in my skin, right? Well, we're just creating a deeper exfoliation and removing more layers of skin because we're going to use... Of acid or a blend of acids to chemically exfoliate and this is mechanically or pushing off dead skin so we get to go deeper. So my facial that I'm getting after this dermaplane is going to be more beneficial and any at home skincare that I do post this is going to be more beneficial too. Um, I do this once a month usually Sometimes I, if, if I'm like having a lot of issues with my skin or I'm extra, like, um, 
stressed or busy or having breakouts, I'll come in twice a month. This is the part that like stinks a little bit because she's, lot. yeah, a this lot of it. This is kind of prepping your skin. It just dries it out so we can get a really nice smooth surface to scrape. Ugh. Um, but if you watch live feeds, you probably saw me shaving my face in the house and that's the closest totally thing. Okay. Totally okay to do. It's the closest thing to, um, like dermaplaning that you can do on your own with a razor. So I'm just getting all the dead skin off, all the hair, you know, that stuff. Ooh, yes. Lighting. Um, but it doesn't hurt at all. She's very, very gentle. Um, she's very good at her job. You can see my skin coming off here. It's pretty gross. Not painful. I can't even really feel it. Shay Lynn Doherty, hi. Um, so anyways, I love this just because my, my skin feels so great after a hydrofacial anyways, but after dermaplaning, it's like I'm a brand new baby that just entered the world and like, oh, hey, Tally, what's up? Um... But yeah, this is like my favorite thing. My skincare secret. Shave your face. And if you can, have it professionally shaved. The hair does not grow back thicker. That's like an old wives tale, right? No, it does not work. Just cutting the hair follicle on top of the skin so it'll grow back the exact same way. The only difference is your hair follicle naturally comes in pointy at the end, so this just comes back blunt ended, obviously, because it's been Carly Clegg. Yes. Um. Okay, so after this, we'll do my facial, and they do something here at Anderson Med Spa called Vizia Complexion Analysis. Right? Did I get that right? Uh-huh. And um, it basically can, it's basically photos of your face, but like fancy photos. Not like just like iPhone 8 Plus photos. It's like can spot your bacteria, fine lines, wrinkles, sunspots, yada, yada, yada. And that, so, okay. So whenever they do that here, they can like customize your facial for you to like make sure they're targeting your problem areas and using the right products um, to help whatever you have more of if it's bacteria or sunspots or whatever oh thank you for asking about Sunday I am going to be up at Magnolia Motor Lounge um, from 3 to 5 I believe it's for charity so it's going to the um, to benefit those affected by Hurricane Harvey in Houston, and all the information is in my second to last Instagram post. So if you want to come, come hang out. I think tickets will probably be like fifteen to twenty dollars. You can buy them at the door or online at mmlbar.com. I'm trying to see all of the questions. Um, this is called dermaplaning. We do love Christmas. Me and Christmas are actually texting right now. This is literally just a surgical blade, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt at all. I can't, I mean, like, I know I can feel it, but it, yeah, I can't. It's not painful. Corey, don't be sad. Hi, Riley. Everyone that thinks my mole is fake. <laughs> or my beauty mark, it's not really a mole. It's an angel kiss. It's an angel kiss. 
That's what my mommy says. And Jessica. Carly Turner, 15, don't die. Gotta get my mustache, y'all. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna be in the way a little bit. Isn't this like the most satisfying thing to just like watch the dead skin come off? I'm mostly just looking forward to seeing Mark Aww. in New York. People are like, What's, what are you looking forward to most about hanging out with Mark in New York? And I'm like, just being with Mark would be great. I will save this, Kayla. Don't worry. If anybody wants to make a hair doll or Elena. Yeah, if you guys want to, um, like, should I sell this on the internet? Like, that's all the hair and skin from my face. How freaking gross. How much does this cost? Like, $50, $75? $75 when you add it on to the hydrofacial. Hydro okay. okay. upgraded the facial since you've been here. Megan told me. Thank you for all the compliments and also all the haters. I see you guys too. Thanks for thanks for taking time out of your day to say hateful things to me on here. Right now? I appreciate it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> like don't sad people. Don't be sad. I don't think that I'm not noticing you. I see all the mean things you're saying too. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, y'all. Hi Casey. Survivor players, please don't cry. Okay, tilt your chin up. No, oh, thanks, Melissa. Simply glowing, hey. Hi Nicole, I see you on here. I, what's so funny is like that my friend that's like managing me right now happened to have um, a an appointment up here today too. So I pulled up and I saw her car and I was like, what the heck? No way, Robin's here. And then, of course, she was here and walked out, and I just told her about you. So I'm going to forward my, your email to her to see if we can use you. Nicole. They're not heavy. You should do it, Mary. Am I hairless? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all, look how beautiful she is. No. Yes, huh? Mm -mm. I don't let anybody else touch my face. Except for Mark, and I normally charge him. Here, I have to pay them. And your puppy. My puppy, I let her give me kisses. Oh my gosh, I'm such a horrible dog mom. So I have an upstairs house, and, um, or a two-story, and my, up, my, my bedroom's upstairs, and my air conditioning is out upstairs. And so early this morning, I got up, um, Uh, to move downstairs and sleep on the couch because it was so freaking hot upstairs and I I uh, was getting all situated on the couch and I had Lily and I literally like punched her in the nose on accident mm -hmm. I don't know what I was trying to do like fix my blanket or something she still loves you 
Yeah, I felt so bad. She loves only you. Hi, Presley. It's actually so, like, it feels so good. Now I just, like, I've been needing this all summer. Like, this is... Oh, yeah, sure. For hydrofacial? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, um, she put some, what do you, what's the first thing you put on my face before the dermaplane? You kind of don't want to know. Well, it's, the first thing was, like, the soapy thing. It's a degreaser. Degreaser. And then the second thing is, like, acetone-esque. That's exactly what it is. And it's, so it's basically, like, cleaning my skin and also, like, drying it's it out. So it. Yeah. that they can do that and it, whatever. I do this about once a month, usually. Unless you, like, turn your whole world upside down and go on Big Brother. Hold on, Mark just texted me. I really want to check it. Oh, okay. Um, and the benefits... Hi, Rachel. The benefits of this are... Um, just extreme exfoliation and making this part of my experience today, my facial, um, more beneficial, getting more of this stuff, like, in my skin to work. And... Um, of course, I love the whole, like, I have no hair and my face is just really smooth for makeup application. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Taylor. Yes, it does help with breakouts. I'm so excited. Y'all don't know how bad I've wanted a facial this entire summer. It doesn't hurt. This feels like it's like suctiony. It almost feels like a mixture of like a cat licking your face and kind of like suction. But this is a hydrofacial, so they use this machine over here that's like has this all the producty things in there. And isn't there like water somewhere in it? Like no, doing water. something? No. It's, oh. it's all effective serum. So this one's just a, another cleanser to prep the skin. And then we use glycolic and salicylic acid and then hydrating antioxidants with hyaluronic acid. All that, all that what she said. All good things. All the good things. Sammy, you want to get into radio? I would say do as many internships as possible. Experience is so important. Also, be funny. That's also very helpful. Hi, Brielle. Cutie. Fans in the Middle East from Kuwait. This is crazy. Yes, I will save this and post it. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do makeup tutorials and go over my skincare routine. So, these are all things on my to-do list. And I had my facial today, so I thought, why not just live feed this shit? Let you guys see what happens behind the closed doors that make me have a nice, pretty skin. Except for right now, I got this pimple. But Jessica's going to fix that. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pimple Popper up in here. Dr. Pimple Popper. Um, someone wants to know, does this help with wrinkles? Absolutely. We have different serums that you can add on to customize per patient. And so we have growth factors and peptides that you can infuse into the skin to help pump it up. And then how can you tell them, like, how you customize my facials? Like, what do you use on me? Because what do I need? Well, this is a 15% glycolic and 2% salicylic acid, so it's really effective at, once again, removing that top layer of skin. It kind of munches away at your dead skin, and then the salicylic acid helps to cleanse your pores and get rid of bacteria. And then we're going to customize the mask, uh, the mask specifically for you with a clay mask to help decongest your skin since you've been gone for so long. Yeah, I felt like I was so stressed, like, as Big Brother was, um, um, any future plans? Okay, I'll answer that in a second. Um, so 
so stressed going into the house. I was so broken out on my chin. Moving in and a couple times during during the house um, that I would break out. And I'm like, all I wanted was to just, like, self-evict and come get a facial. Um, okay. Future plans. I'll ask that. I'll answer that in a second. Guys can do this, too. Actually, highly recommended. Like, taking, yeah, taking care of your skin and being proactive about your skin is, like, very important. Like, please take care of yourself. Um, someone asked something else. How do you find a good facial place? Do they all do it like this? Um, I would say, you know, definitely take advantage of reviews and Yelp. I mean, I have been, me, my family, my mom, my cousins, friends, have been going to Anderson Med Spa in Fort Worth for years. So, I'm pretty much married to this place. And, um, I know that's, it's not even a convenient drive for anymore. It takes me about an hour to get here, but I just, when it comes to, like, my skin and my face, like, it's kind of important. So, I don't really want to risk getting that screwed up. Um, no, I'm totally bringing Mark here. Are you kidding me? But I would say if you're not in Fort Worth and you can't take advantage of the awesome services, um, the Hydrofacial website lists yes. where to go if you punch in your zip code also. Yeah, so there's a Hydrofacial website, and I think they have an Instagram too, actually. But I would get on the website and look up who does, like, what med spas do Hydrofacials. And, um, and then maybe just do some research on that. Make sure that people leave good Yelp reviews. Um, my hair extensions are from Mermaid Hair out of Dallas, and you can follow her on Instagram at Mermaid Hair XO. I do get my eyebrows threaded. I'll be doing that either today or tomorrow. Gotta get them ready to go see Mark. Um, yeah. Do I have some Yeah. Do I have some stuff that you can extract? Mm -hmm. Gross. Do y'all want to watch um, Jessica Pop My Pimples? I feel like if you watch live feeds, you watch me pop my own pimples. So, like, I have that guy over there. I have this guy here. I kind of had something happening here. Um, future plans. Person that wanted to know. I have none. But, you know, <laughs> stay tuned. Please give him a hug for me, Rachel. Um, I will be, you know, trying to do some podcasting, I think, and maybe, like, vlog, blog stuff, um, my eyebrows are natural, but they actually do, um, microblading, microblading here, okay, so she's gonna pop this pimple, or two, I do use a teeth whitening system, I'll be posting about that shortly, you guys want to know all the things. Okay, so she just literally... Is this gr gross? Are y'all still tuned in? Um, like, poked a hole in my blemish. And is... Um, I don't believe microblading hurts. Um, my mom, I think, has done it or has done some kind of tattoo... Yeah. On her brows. It's uncomfortable, but you numb, and it's totally worth it. Ooh. Is good stuff happening up there? Mm-hmm. All the good things. So much good stuff. I can't decide if, like, people typically really like this shit, but also it's, like, very gross. Like, I don't want to gross you guys out. Um, okay, so there's a lot of radio and kid credit questions. I'll go ahead and address that. While she's popping my pimples. Why not? Why not? I feel like this is the best time. Um, I will not be returning to the Kid Chronic Morning Show. I left permanently before Big Brother. And um, I still have a lot of love for the radio industry and don't know that I want to leave it forever. But. I, um, I'm sorry, Brittany, you can still, like, I'll still say funny stuff, like, sometimes, 
like on Instagram, Twitter, maybe I would like tweet something funny. I really would like to start my own podcast and kind of go that direction. Um, thank you, Fave House Guest. I do talk to Justin. Sure, I love him. He's a good friend. Um, I'll be hanging out with Caroline on Saturday. I can't wait to see her and Nicole. Um, it did not end poorly. It just, um, I, I wanted to accept the opportunity to be on Big Brother. It was a dream come true for me, and I felt like it would benefit my future. And obviously, I had a chance at $500,000. So I did that, and um, I, in order to do that, I needed to, to leave the, the show. Mark is in Buffalo. I miss him a lot. Just 563 people watching me get my pimples popped. If this isn't relatable, I don't know what is, guys. You see it coming out? Kind of. Oh, is that a lot? That's probably gross. Awesome. I mean, it's like actually very satisfying for me as well. Oh my gosh, hey Teddy, what are you doing? And what are you doing tonight? And what are you doing this weekend? I have, I've never had to get this many extractions, ever. Can you think of a time? Never. But you've never gone four months or something? With oh, that one hurts. How many times do I have to tell you to quit your job, Teddy, and hang out with me? I quit mine. <laughs> Look how that works out for me. Yeah, I do watch Dr. Pimple Popper. My friend Anna is going to hate me for saying this, but maybe she'll never know because, like, she'll never watch this. Um, she is, like, obsessed with it, but, like, it's totally her guilty pleasure. Like, she pretends like she doesn't like it. Oh, gosh. That one hurts. <laughs> Ow. Did you feel it come out? It's like delivering a baby. <laughs> oh my god. We've got the head. We just need to get the tail. I've never had this many extractions in my life. Yay! That's awesome news about Jess and Cody. I've been curious what they're doing. Are you done with that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank god. Bye, Melissa. Thanks for hanging out. <sighs> Kelly in Michigan. Okay. You hate me, Mikey? That's not very nice. Um, oh my gosh, I actually miss so much stuff about being in the Big Brother house. You get very conditioned in there. I'm like, that was my house. I got very used to being there. I don't like being alone anymore. I am literally not perfect at all. Lexi, you look super cute, though. Like, y'all literally just watched me get my pimples popped. Like, just pulling the curtain down. Like, this is me. Oh, I know someone was asking me about foundation. I use, um, a lot. Gosh, that one really got me. Here's some armpit. <laughs> <laughs> I am noticing you. Oh my god, what are we doing? This what is this? Lymphatic drainage. What? I've never done this before. This will just help to reduce inflammation in your skin all over. We're literally dragging and dropping your lymph to be released and excreted through your armpits where your main lymph nodes are. Did y'all even listen to what she just said? This is bananas. Okay, somebody named Jessica, I believe, said that they just booked their appointment with Katie Rogers for mermaid hair. Um, please send me um, before and after pictures. I'm so excited for you. Okay, people want to know what this is called. Lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage. Okay, foundation. I'm sorry. This doesn't hurt. No, at all. This feels great, actually. It's interesting. Um... I use a few different ones. I mix it up. I normally will use Mary Kay Luminous Foundation, especially when I'm, like, just doing, like, a really quick, like, five-minute makeup. 
And, but if I'm like, if it's like a live show day, <laughs> aka I'm Thursday, or except for I'm not in the Big Brother house anymore, so if I'm trying to like really impress people, ooh, Marlena, that is crazy. Oh, thank you, Mikey. Thank you for clarifying. I use, um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Jessica, I can't wait to see. Or the live original Sadie Rob. I'm pretty sure you said her name was Jessica. I love Kat Von D. Um, bye, Carson. Thanks for hanging out. Um, hey, Catherine. So, I love Kat Von D. I love um, Make It Forever. I love Mac. Um, but, yeah. I kind of mix it up. I normally will, a lot of times, like, I change colors so much. Especially in the Big Brother house, I was, um, I said hi to you, Sammy, already, but hi again. Um, hi, Celia, I see you. Hi, Emmy. Oh. Um. But, yeah, I would change colors so much. I would be tan for being outside a lot. Um. Oh, okay, Nikki, thank you. I guess I need to buy a sweater or something. Um. But I, I'll mix my foundations together. Like, most of the time in the house, I was mixing a Kat Von D um, foundation, actually, that Raven gave me, and a Makeup Forever one that was a little bit darker. This is very interesting. Um, oh, and someone else asked me if I do strips or extensions for my eyelashes. Obviously in the house I had to do strips once my extensions fell out. But, hi Sophia. Um, oh my gosh, yeah Kelly, I'm excited for you to get your wand. Um, but I live for my eyelash extensions. Like, just so, so blessed by them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm so, so blessed by my eyelash extensions. They bless me every day. Lexi, DM me. This does not hurt at all. Um, yeah, all about the extension life. Like, just truly want to be as fake as possible. Like, fake hair, fake lashes, fill in the brows. No, you're just keeping it low maintenance. That's all it is. So you don't have to deal with it every day. See, I like her thing. Really, though, like, I can't tell you guys how much I love, um, oh my god, I do want to try Fenty really bad. Um, but I can't tell you guys how much I love my hair. Like, I literally have not done anything to my hair since Katie did it last Friday. Oh, Monica Echo. Happy birthday, girl. So, yeah. I mean, just quick, like, hair update. Like, it's still, like, wavy and, like, kind of beautiful. And I've literally done nothing to it. I braid it when I go to sleep at night. Okay, what are we doing to me now? Putting on the clay mask? Oh, it's a clarifying clay mask. This will just help absorb any oil and help clean out your pores. I look like more. Santa. Mm hmm It's beautiful. I think you look like an angel. Thank you. Yes, I will save it. Bye, Mikey. Favorite girl of the season. Woohoo! I don't know who's going to be on Celebrity Big Brother. I did hear a rumor, though, that Pam from The Office is going to be on Celebrity Big Brother. Like, how great do I look right now? Yeah, I'll watch Celebrity Big Brother. I'll probably, like, um... Do some, like, live tweeting of it. I don't know if the Pam thing is legit. Like, a fan literally told me that. That it was announced on her Instagram or... Um, or on the CBS Instagram or something. And I forgot to go, like, verify that information. 
someone told me that they got me on the, um, which season 19 house guests are you? And I feel like, um, well, lucky you. I was clearly the best house guest by a lot. So you must be awesome if you got me. However, I don't know what's wrong with me because I also took the which BB19 house guests are you? And there were three different quizzes and I got Kevin, Dominique, and Cameron. So like... I don't really understand that. Wow, this is beautiful. Nah, I haven't really talked talk to her even at all. Oh my gosh, you love my voice. Thank you. That means a lot to me because I am a radio professional. I have seen that gif. Please feel free to send that to your friends, family, coworkers, boss, grandparents. Um, yeah, me and Mark are definitely very close to um, Jess and Cody. Obviously, they're filming Amazing Race right now, so we don't get to chat. But favorite place to buy clothes. That's tough. I mean, TBH, I'm pretty poor, so, like, I'm not going to be mad about um, Forever 21 ever. Um, I love AG jeans. They're my favorite. I'm a curvy chick, so, like, they just fit my body the best, and it's, like, really good quality. Um, I love Esther Penn and Tucker Brown. They're two boutiques in DFW. Um, what else do I love? Oh my god. Uh, ASOS online. If you haven't shopped there, do it. Like, you're welcome. Buy me something, send it to me uh, for me doing a favor of telling you about ASOS. It's not Jif like peanut butter. What are you thinking? I'm a millennial. I know these things. Actually, I, I heard debates on both sides whether it's Jif or Gif. Um, apparently, like, something like that stands for, like, like, graphic, integrated, whatever. I don't know what the thing actually stands for. So you're supposed to say it like the G sound. But I heard that the guy who created GIFs says it GIF. But I'm like, don't you know that's peanut butter, bro? I have not watched my season. Oh, how's Mark in bed? You got my attention. I'm not answering that question. I would know. I have no idea. And he sleeps in bed. He's pretty cute when he sleeps. He woke me up with a fart one time in bed. That's on the internet if you want to go find that. Me and Mark want to do a road trip back to Dallas and like make stops along the way and like do meet and greets, but we have to figure out how to execute that. We need some help. I love Kevin. We talked to Kevin. Kevin called Mark yesterday. They talked on the phone. Me and Christmas texted a little bit this morning. I talked to Ramses yesterday and the day before. Honestly, it's, it is one of my favorite videos. <sighs> okay, I gotta go, guys, but keep watching this. I am just can't see any of your comments. So this is going to be the best time if you want to say really hateful things, because I'm not reading them. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck you, Elena. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I have not talked to Paul. <laughs> Y'all are funny. I have the funniest fans. Honestly, all this just like feels so good. Like, 
I do not deserve this. I don't deserve Anderson Med Spa. I don't deserve them. Whatever. I don't deserve you, Jessica. Whatever. We love you. I love y'all too. It's just like, I will do makeup tutorials. I just need to like find a cute place to do them. I'm such a perfectionist. And I need someone to edit my videos. Any of you guys know how to edit? <laughs> Any of you guys want to like work for me for free? <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, seriously. <laughs> No, really. <laughs> <coughs> I think I just love Mark. That's why I rub his arms. <coughs> I would really like that. Like, how much easier is it to have a podcast if you already have a studio to record in and, like, a built-in producer? Like, I need to be produced. Like, I really feel like I bring, bring premium quality content to the table, but, like, produce me. Um, eyelashes. I don't know. I go to upscale nail bar in Arlington off Ball Parkway and I see Ving and I say hey girl make my eyelashes beautiful so I don't really know what kind of eyelashes they are aside from just on my eyelashes my skin is fab thanks a girl all shouts out to her look how cute she is show them how cute you are yes she's so cute She's actually a Big Brother fan, too, aren't you? How long have you watched Big Brother? Mm, maybe five or six years. Can you believe that? And I had to you lie to her. You really are the best ever, truly. You, she's just saying that because she loved me before. No, it's true. You were so smart to bring in the cheese and you... <laughs> hey, y'all. intelligent. People were just mad that y'all saw... Saw through Paul. Mm-hmm. Nose picks are free. They're included. <laughs> yeah, she just, there's no extra charge. Just. I have to get this little thing. There we go. My nose is cute. Thanks. Y'all know that with that cheese sandwich was iconic. Did we get it? Hi, Marlena. I obviously love your name. That It's so inspired. Like, everyone name your child Marlena this year. I want it to be, um, like, the most... Oh, are you going for it? I hate you. I don't know if there's really anything in, in there to get. But it's because I got it yesterday. Yeah, I think it's just kind of healing right now. Um, someone asked me yeah. about my mermaid hair. Y'all, you live in Fort Worth and you want to know if you should get it? Um, 100%. Like, I'm mad that I didn't get it years ago. Lexi wants to know about my lips. Do you want to tell her? Um, well, we use Juvederm Ultra Plus, and we keep up with them like once every nine months at least to do touch-ups. But your lips were like really pretty, and you had a nice shape to begin with. So people who think that they can come in and get Elena lips, just be aware. We can put the same filler in there, to enhance your beautiful lips, but this girl had really, really beautiful lips to start with. We should post your before and after of the lips. <laughs> Look how cute she is. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I'm just full on hanging out on live right now. Like, how long have we all been here? Why are you guys not bored of me yet? This place is located... 812th Avenue in Fort Worth off of Summit and uh, right outside of yeah. downtown. Like kind of in like the district. hospital district, yeah. Okay, hold on. I have to read this comment. Very interesting. Liquid Beauty wants to know, are you nervous about Mark talking to his ex when he got out of the house considering he said how obsessed he was with her to everyone in the house on live feed and did he ever tell you her name? <laughs> okay. Um... Lexi, I swear, just, like, literally DM me right now. Lex in the city. 
Um, shit, I love you for that. Yes, I do mar know Mark's ex's name, and I'm not worried about him talking to her at all. Because he loves me and adores me, so why would I be worried about that? Haha, <laughs> slime of your life. People are like, I'm okay, I'm coming up to there to see you right now. <laughs> How do you know that his ex is not that cute C Fike 1100? Oh, hey Carson, welcome back. Wait, hold on, Madison, you're my new video editor? Okay, cool. Give, send me some, like, some of your work. Um, how much is the facial, Jessica? The Hydra Plus or the Hydra Derm are each $1.99 treatment. Gosh, they really just steal all my money. But guys, I promise it's literally the most worth it thing ever. Like, don't eat out to dinner like three times a month and you have pretty skin. And also you're skinnier. Like, you're welcome. Um, somebody asked me if I follow Gwange. Of course. She's so iconic. How could I not follow her? I'm getting a hydrofacial done right now. So we did dermaplaning, which is basically removing all of my dead skin and hair on my face. This is LED light therapy. And then now we're doing LED light therapy. Okay, cool. Um, what else did we do? Of course I follow Jackie O. She is literally just as iconic. The morning breath is everything. Um, okay, so we did... What did we do? We did dermaplane, removing my... Um, we start with the dermaplane, and then we did the Hydra Plus, and what that means is we did lymphatic drainage with uh, deep cleansing, exfoliation with glycolic and salicylic acid, and then we infuse hyaluronic acid with antioxidants and arnica, and then we mm -hmm. finish with LED light therapy. And blue, specifically, is for improving the appearance of oily and congested skin. We also do red light therapy for... Okay, you did red light therapy skin. on Megan the other day, That's right? That's more for, like, aging skin. Or Megan is on here watching. Hi, Megan. It's also for improving redness in the skin. Okay. Hi, Megan. So I showed up when my cousin Megan was getting... My bestie cousin Megan was getting her... Um, her hydrofacial done the other day, and she did red light therapy. So it's, they, they customize it for what's best for you. Somebody wants to know if you can get this done when you're pregnant. Absolutely. Yes. It's probably actually, like, really great for you to, like, relax and take care of your skin. It's pretty much the only thing that you can do that actually helps your skin while you're pregnant. So I really recommend it. I did it all throughout. I've been here for seven years throughout both of my pregnancies, and I did as much as I could. Just joined What's Going On. I am getting a hydrofacial. I've been in the Big Brother house for four months. My skin is so bad. And I have used to get this once a month. Like, honestly, kind of my Anderson Med Spa, like, history was my mom and cousin and her friends have been coming here. And my mom has gorgeous skin. She looks like she's, like, 40 and she's, well, not. Um, she's 42. Yeah, she's 42. <laughs> I don't think I can wink very well. Ooh, now I'm doing red light. Just on your cheeks where they're a little redness. Muscular. Okay. So, um... Are we doing your cheeks? Yeah. Can we? Um... So, anyways, um... I, I would come in sometimes because my mom would get me, like, a gift card for a gift or something. Or if they had a special, she'd buy me packages. So, I would get facials, like, every once in a while. And then... I started noticing like a small improvement in my skin so I was like I'm gonna start doing this once a month like really regularly like I'm gonna like sacrifice and you know take the time and, and money to do it and within like three to four months of getting regular hydrofacials I noticed a huge difference in my skin and also like being really you know proactive about taking care of my skin at home as well um, but sometimes I get lazy like sometimes I sleep in my makeup like last night I slept in my makeup until like I woke up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and took it off and um, 
Anyways, so after maybe like six months, I felt like I was literally glowing. Hi, McKenna. Um, so yeah, now I can't stop because I've just seen how well it's done on my skin and I just like need it. I'm addicted. So I definitely miss this in the Big Brother house, but I tried to do as best I could keeping up with my skin on my own. I In the house I was using Epion's um, Lytic Gel Cleanser. Lytic Gel? Lytic? I don't know what it's called. Um, but I mix it up there. They have here at Anderson Metz while they have a skincare line that I actually like a lot. And it is called, oh my gosh, Bethany, hi. Thank you for joining me. Blessed. Um, it's called MD Ethics. And I like it a lot just because it's only two products. It's a skincare, um, like a cleanser and then like a, I don't even know what to call it. I'll have to ask Jessica when she comes back in. I'll do whatever podcast. Like, I love that shit. So, tell them to email me. Um, you're welcome, Chloe. I hope everything is going well for you still. Um, yes, they do consultations here. So, they can tell you, like I said, they do um, something called a Vizia complexion analysis. So, they can customize your treatments for you. And they can tell you what stuff you need to use at home. So, I go to Anderson Med Spa. It's in Fort Worth. But several med spas carry um, hydrofacials and do consultations. So, all I'm saying is be proactive about taking care of your skin. Because you won't regret it. It's when you're old and gross, but you're not actually gross. It's kind of great. Like my mom. She's really hot. Okay, I'm getting off of here. I've been on here for too long. But I'm going to save this. Um, if you have any questions specifically, you can message me. And then also... I know, do you know what y'all's Instagram is off the top of your head? Anderson Medical Spa? Yeah, they have an Instagram, so you can, like, get on there and ask questions.